Hi my friends, today we model this part which is called grooved bushing and the drawing is this one. No problem, the only uh, tricky feature is uh, with this uh, channel, but we'll get over this without any problems let's start new standard millimeters ipt xy plane and we draw a center line i select this and i go up 107 is the dimension I disable this left down left down now I want to place this uh, point on the same vertical with the upper line and this is uh, smaller I go here another line is uh, this one and I use split for this line and this line in order to make them construction lines dimensions This is 84. This diameter 84. Almost the same. 72. Take care if this line is moving together with the other one. Yes, it is. They are collinear. Here, the dimension is 74. 20 is this line. 12 here. And 5. Internal is one dimension needed. Internal is 58. 58. Good. Finish sketch. Revolve. And we have the first volume. Then I go to the drawing because I want to create this cut this one yes 20 is the width of this cut I select this face X is to the right I create a rectangle which must be tangent to this circle which must be with this point uh, line with its uh, center point and with uh, this corner placed on this circle dimension the unique dimension necessary is uh, 20 square 20 I make this two construction and now we can apply extrude and the inventor finds the unique close contour. We want to go to this face with the extrusion and this is what we have. Now I want to create this hole from here which is uh, 
this one take a look it is to the right from the cut yes this means that the hole is somewhere here to create this hole I use a procedure which I presented to you in a recent tutorial number 419 take a look here plane I want to draw a line that line that axis and I select plane this is unusual of course then I select sketch I select line then I move this face to create a plane which has minus in front and the distance is this one 107 minus 70 minus 10 I place minus parenthesis 107 minus 70 minus 10 close parenthesis okay you see we have a sketch now and the tool line is still active but I am forced to apply F7 and this will be loosed F7 and this is loosed no problem then I project this circle and I draw the line the line is this one the 36 dimension is okay tab and I apply 60 as you know finished sketch you see this is here then I go to 3d model I apply axis for this line then I place also a point on this axis and the face you see I can identify this point good then hold hold based on this point and this axis the dimension is 10 and I have to select a surface to end the hole okay now you see better I select all these entities to make them not visible good now I want to create another hole which is in connection with this one you see this is the created hole and there is a channel here to the other hole and they are in the same plane yes now is simpler than uh, before because we can use the axis I don't need to use that procedure I create a plane based on this at uh, minus 10 and I use this for a new sketch I project the other axis my friends and I have a base visibility I make this as an axis now it is a line this is very important axis is this I turn the part and I place a point on this axis and this face 
now I have that uh, starting point hole 10 millimeters I select the point I select the axis and the end of this hole you see then I hide these three entities good now we have to create this channel dimensions are here you see with the uh, contour radius 2.5 one millimeter because there is a difference between this cylinder and this cylinder you see 72 with the 74 one millimeter is here five 2.5 and so on good we use uh, uh, this two axis to create a plane plane uh, where is it work axis this one and the other one is here yes we have the plane with the both holes now we start from here and I make visible I don't make visible I create a plane based on this plane and this second axis the angle is 30 you see 30 this is that angle okay now we use uh, that plane for a new sketch F7 we project both generators of the hole and we draw a line between these two ends then a circle with a radius of 2.5 which must be placed at a distance of one millimeter one to be in the center on the same horizontal this point with this center point and a rectangle this is the rectangle I make it tangent here as you can see good now trim these arcs and we make construction this line and also this line construction construction one dimension needed let's see what dimension is missing tangency here remove and this is a constraint we don't uh, eliminate it finish now to create that uh, channel we use uh, the 
coil tool coil this area was uh, already selected and I apply an axis inventor waits for me to select an axis this is the axis this y we select revolution and height the revolution is uh, 0 0.5 uh, unit less which means 180 degrees and the height is 70 millimeters okay this planes must be not visible and now we have that uh, channel you see here that uh, cut this because of the difference between these two cylinders now I apply circular pattern for the two holes hole one hole doy and the coil about an axis three instances we have and now this is the part I apply here a chamfer of two millimeters okay to be respected this that's all let's compare with this material I apply stainless steel stainless steel okay now you see nothing is different let's see what is the volume I properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is this one the difference is no important what we did is uh, respected okay that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye